Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. So here's something that I did want to get into here. We've got a bunch of things that we can get into. And by the way, let me just ask everyone who is here watching us, please smash the thumbs ups okay i think that will help us a little bit if you're in here and you can hit the thumbs ups we appreciate it you know maybe that will show youtube that we've got some activity in here and it will suggest it to some other people i can't even see us hank that's yeah. weird yeah otherwise share it yeah i know there's stuff going on i see tyvin out there he says that he's still not getting notified i'm not you know i'm not really sure I, up, tyvin? I know t uh youtube went everyone went to work from remote so they've just got the bots running the place right now so who knows what's going to happen with that. So here's one of the things I did want to talk about, right? Because I see there's lots of folks out there. I know Mr. Guns and Gear made a, a video for new people who are new to, to uh, firearms. Uh, who else made a video? Guns and Gear made a video. I think I, I think Iraqi Veteran 88. Yeah, Eric. I think Eric and Chad made one. And then I think um, I think that uh, John and you know, Big John and Hickok also did a video. So I was thinking, you know, let's take this opportunity. We have Tr Trey here. He's involved in training and stuff like that. And then we also have Dave here who he represents a manufacturer, probably uh, a manufacturer that's selling a lot of handguns. And I'm sure a lot of handguns <laughs> are selling right now. So let, let's, I'll start with you guys. Maybe we'll start with you, Trey. Let's say you can speak to the people out there right now, all those folks who are first time gun owners you know, who because of this went out there, they bought guns, they're not super sure on what to do. You know, for a long time, they were always like, oh man, I don't know, I want to get into this gun thing. But this this crisis kind of, you know, uh, nudged them in that direction. What do you think we should be telling those folks right now? Okay, well, I got a couple things I'd like to tell them. First thing, you need to know the four rules of safe firearm handling. That That's like the basic one. Mm-hmm. Now, rule number one, safe direction of the firearm. It's either downrange or down. Don't be waving it around. It's not a toy. Mm -hmm. You don't wave a kitchen knife around, so you're not waving your gun around. It's the same concept. Mm -hmm. Finger off the trigger. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. So what I tell my new people is when sights are on target, I see the target in my sights. It's time to drop my finger down and, to pre and press the trigger. And before then, you should never have your finger on that trigger. It should be straight alongside the frame like this. Mm-hmm. Rule number three, firearms are always loaded. When you come over to pick up a firearm, it's ready to fire. It's ready to go until you check and inspect it and determine different. Um, don't assume it's not loaded. Assume it is loaded. And rule number four, check your background. When you're shooting at a target, know what's behind your target. Mm -hmm. um, those things are very important. And you need to make sure your gun functions. So I've had a couple guys come out, oh, I haven't shot in about 10 years, but I got this gun. And so he gives me the gun. We start shooting it. It stovepipes every time. Mm -hmm. And I go, well, I don't understand what's going on. So we cleaned it, you know, the basic thing. Mm -hmm. He was actually missing pieces of the gun. There were pieces, <laughs> the extractor was completely gone. Okay. So this spring was gone. So we started taking it apart. I go, dude, you ain't got no extractor. The uh -huh. roll pin's gone and the extractor's completely gone. Wow. It's an extractor. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, yeah. So I said, this gun is not going to perform for you. It'll always stovepipe. So you got a bolt action handgun. And so he actually wound up going buying another handgun and getting taken care of. Mm -hmm. If you have an old gun and you haven't shot in 20 years, please go out and shoot your gun, make sure it functions, and it's actually going to protect you. The time to figure that out is not when your sights are on the guy coming at you and you're defending yourself. Please mm -hmm. check your gun and make sure it functions. If you don't know if it functions, go buy a 12-gauge pump. That mm -hmm. will function. I promise you that. <laughs> so, yeah, I've seen quite a few interesting things. Oh, and your instructor, whoever is teaching you, he knows more than you, I promise you that, if you're a new gun owner. He knows more. You don't know more than he, he does. Well, so that's... I had a guy, Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Finish your thought. Guy goes, oh, I've never shot before. Me and my wife want to come out. We want to test out guns. Okay, come on. So I set him up, pick out an LCR revolver. That's what they wanted. Great. Worked out great. Now he's an expert because he's shot five times. Mm -hmm. And he's telling me this and that. I go, hey, hey man, you know, I'm trying to help you out. Let me explain to you certain things. Just listen to me. Mm -hmm. And his wife's like, yeah, listen to him. Because he was, was like, <laughs> he's the expert now. And I'm like, hey, man, let me try to help you out. Do it the way I'm telling you. Just listen to what I tell you. I'll explain to you why I do certain things so you understand why I do them. Mm -hmm. But don't contradict me because you don't know what you're talking about. 
Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Hank. Yeah. Well, what I was going to say is this. So, okay, you've bought the firearm, right? So you have you went into a store. You discovered that you there's no gun show loophole nonsense that you thought existed. <laughs> um, you like know, 10 days. Of yeah, you, yeah, some places you found out there's a weight. You know, there's background checks. <laughs> yep. You had to fill out forms. And you might not be able to get a concealed weapons permit in the first place. Yeah, you know, you found out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, some places around some places around the country have um, closed down gun stores. I think Jersey. Yep. Uh, I'm sure the folks out Florida's here. Florida's closed down concealed weapons permits. Yes, uh, Nikki Nikki Free, man. She's you know our agriculture uh, commissioner in Florida yep. is a Democrat, a liberal. Yep. Because people didn't go vote two years ago. So, and she burns us. Yeah. She burns us. Yeah. So, so it, remember, you can you can keep your gun loaded in your glove and center compartments in your vehicle. Yeah. And they do not have to be locked, just so everybody knows. If you're in Florida. So if you're in Florida. Yeah. This is Florida only. I only talk about Florida. Yeah. So here's the thing. So you, so if you did it, you were somehow able to buy a gun. Um, the next thing now, you need to find out information about this gun. Hopefully you bought some ammo. Hopefully you got the right ammo. Hopefully the store was able to explain that to you. The difference between defensive ammo, range ammo. Um, so yeah. now, you, now you want to find out info. Um, what are the ways that you guys suggest that people go about finding out info? And uh, I will, I'll start with Dave because um, I know you didn't get a chance to jump in here yet. And then you can, you can elaborate on other things that you think first timers should be doing. We'll, we'll talk about this here for a little while. So we'll bounce back and forward until we get it covered. Well, I was say, like the first thing, like with the the new shooters, people buying those guns. First mm -hmm. thing I tell them too, though, is, yeah, ask the sales associate because I know you, you can still find gun shops or big box stores where the guy in the counter, he may not know that much. He knows some, but people can't be afraid to ask those guys because if that guy doesn't know the answer, he's going to find somebody else there that does know the answer mm -hmm. and get you the, what answer you're looking for. I mean, how many times they just go and buy the gun, they walk out and they're they're done. Oh, I bought a gun. I like I said, I'm an expert now because I bought it. I own it. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be afraid to ask. That's the big thing. Kind of put your pride aside and don't be afraid to ask questions. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's key right there. I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and so other so for sources of info about guns, where should the people go look? Now, obviously, lots of people immediately go to the Internet and they go to YouTube and stuff like that. I'm a guy. <laughs> I'm a guy that does YouTube stuff. One of the problems we have going on right now, though, a lot of the instructional videos that we've made, uh, yep. you know, YouTube That's has awesome. pretty much suppressed those videos and yep. forced a lot of us to remove those videos or people who have them because YouTube doesn't like those people. It's very difficult yep. to find their stuff. So, and, and Trey, I mean, where where do you guys think? Obviously, YouTube or Google searching stuff. But where else can you go to to find out info? You can go to the manufacturer's website direct. So we'll use High Point as an example. If you go to their website, you can actually pull out the manual on the farm to at least understand what the levers, buttons, and switches do. But I was ta I was watching uh, Mr. Guns and Gear. There's mm -hmm. one that's excellent. Mm -hmm. He put out an instructional video mm -hmm. for new time shooters. Mm -hmm. I think it's a superb video. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rocky Veteran put one out. Now, I haven't seen that one yet, so I can't comment, but I can comment on his other stuff. I'm sure it's pretty spot on, too. Mm -hmm. Or you can just watch sh uh, professional shooters online and see how they handle their gun with their finger off the trigger, how they're shooting, things they're doing. If you notice, they don't really break the 180. They keep the gun down range, different things like that. Mm -hmm. you know uh, for the, so for the most part for the most part like sometimes and i, I don't i'm sorry trey i didn't want to cut you no, off fine. here i know sometimes I making a video like i get into this stuff like when you make videos you're not 100 percent necessarily practicing safety or it doesn't look like that first of all video is kind of flat so you can't see what's happening three-dimensionally there but also just the mechanics of making a video and stuff like that so that's why i don't want people to 100 percent rely on that right Yep. Um, in my opinion, I would say don't, do not 100% rely on that. There's other um, sources. Go to a rank. Yeah, exactly. You you can. You there's a ton of instructors out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you fall over and there's an instructor for teaching farm. Mm -hmm. So go get a farm instructor. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys can look them up. I mean, they're, they're bad ones and they're good ones like everything, you know. But uh, most ranges will not let a bad instructor go in there. Uh, and but I you know I have seen some backyard instructors that I thought were really good instructors. They just weren't close to a big range to train at. So mm -hmm. take your time, find an instructor, 
Look at what he does on YouTube. Look at the comments he gets on Facebook and those things like that. I mean, it's not hard ciphering if the guy's a halfway decent instructor. If he's got two likes on something or nothing at all, then he probably hasn't been instructing very long. Mm -hmm. If the guy's got a thousand uh, reviews and people are saying good things about him and he's been teaching for about five or six years and no no one's gotten shot, (laughs) keyword. Oh, boy. He's probably a halfway (laughs) decent instructor. You know, I mean, these guys are out there. They're all over. There there are tons here that I would recommend in a heartbeat, not just myself, of course, but other instructors, uh, I have Muller Training. Mm-hmm. Um, I have, uh, sorry, I'm zoning out right now. Uh. <laughs> there are a lot of good instructors, and I would say, you know what's one of the things? I don't know if you guys see this, but I know I see it. So the dudes like me that make videos, and, and you know, and, and sometimes we get attention for making crazy videos and fun videos and stuff like that, which I'm not knocking at all, we get may get more of the attention than the guys doing the practical, you know, safety stuff. How how did you know yep. all of this? The, those different. those guys don't get views. I think this is a good time. I I would more say to people to look at those guys. I agree with what Trey said about guns and gear. I think he uh, is very knowledgeable. So so the Iraq veteran guys. So um are like Hickok and other people that put out videos, but maybe seek out some of those training videos right now yep. if you cannot get out there. Uh, one of ours is fight training. They come out. Yeah. They train at different spots. The guy's an excellent instructor, mm-hmm. very safe, very knowledgeable, you know, things like that. The guys are out there. Yeah. And if other if other instructors are liking their videos or other gun people are liking their videos, that's because – they're actually a halfway decent shooter. We're not mm. going to like somebody that really doesn't know what they're doing. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm not putting my, myself out like that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the, the big thing I want to tell people is when you go buy a firearm, you can go and tra- you can go to different ranges. I don't know about all the ranges, but I know about mine and a few others. Mm-hmm. Rent a firearm and shoot it. Okay. Five, 20 bucks, you rent a gun, you go there and shoot it. I don't like it. I do like it, et cetera, et cetera. And then so you're saying you're before you buy that firearm, firearm, go someplace where you could rent, right? Yeah, what what I've been doing lately is mm-hmm. somebody calls up makes an appointment for me. So I show up with about 20 guns, usually revolvers because obviously they're new. But I do have some semi-autos. I do have a pump shotgun in there. And I go, okay, John, let's go through the different guns. So I talk about them. The guy's like, nope, semi-automatics, too complicated. I don't want to deal with it. Okay. So I pull out about five revolvers. Mm-hmm. And I have anywhere from a 22 Magnum all the way up to obviously a 44 Magnum revolver. I have a 32 revolver. I have a 380 and a 9 revolver. Mm-hmm. And we start shooting those revolvers. And then when he find and when he finds the one he likes, then mm-hmm. I actually make a phone call to Lake County Arms, our local gun store, and go, "Hey, hey, Mark, do you have this in stock?" And Mark goes, mm-hmm. "I do have it in stock. Do you have ammo? Yes, I do have ammo. Mm-hmm. All right." I tell the guy, "You got one hour to be at the store. He's going to put it back in the shelf." They pull it off the shelf and hold it for him. He drives there and purchases the gun. And now everybody understand, right now in Florida, background checks are taken between four to six hours, just so you know that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep, four yeah. to six hours if you're lucky. Right. So the guy purchased the gun, and he came back to the range, and we shot another lesson. Yeah. We actually did another lesson on the exact same gun he was buying. Mm-hmm. And then he left, and he went back and picked it up later on. Of course, it still took longer than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. but It's so a high, like every, high volume is going I, on right now. Sorry, Trey. Go ahead. Trey, yeah. No, no, go ahead. No. So Flying Rich said this a little while back. I'm trying to catch up to the chat here. If you guys have any specific uh, questions or comments, let us know. He said, let's not be elitist. Be welcoming to noobs. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, please. You know, I yeah. resist the temptation to, you know, jump down someone's throat because they say clip no. instead of magazine. You hey. know. <laughs> well, and look, here, use it as an example. I don't care what gun you show up with as long as you show up with a gun that functions. Mm -hmm. So you show up with a gun that functions. I sit down and go, okay, what do you got there, sir? Mm -hmm. I got a Jennings. Okay. We we shoot it. We try it. It works. Mm -hmm. It does the job. Mm -hmm. Or high point. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of guys show up with a high point, the 9C. Mm -hmm. And it shoots. It works for them. And that's all that matters. I don't care. Because I don't know how much money that dude has. He might be loaded. Or he might have five kids and I and have barely mm-hmm. you know a couple hundred bucks in his pocket and can barely afford to shoot. Mm-hmm. I don't know his his situation, but I know that he's a gun guy and he needs help mm-hmm. and I'm there for. Him. Yeah. So I come, I step on the line, I help him out, help him shoot. I'm not down in his gun. What he shoots is irrelevant. What matters is he's shooting and learning how to handle himself. 
Yeah, absolutely. So. I'm not just saying this because Dave is here. I mean, I think this is the reason. I, I am Dave. No. I really like this. No, I just want people to know this. This is the reason why we established a relationship with High Point, because I've been saying this for a long time. You know, I think High Points are good guns. You know, if, if it was just the fact that it was cheap, okay. There's lots of cheap things out there that don't function. There's things yep. actually more expensive than high points yep. that I have found in my experience that do not function. So one of the things I found out about high points is they function. If you have problems yep. with them, regardless of how you bought that gun, whether it was uh, you know used or whatever, high point stands behind it. So you can very e very easily get that gun back to functioning. But they are good guns in terms of they function and they are affordable. And I would rather you have something to defend yourself than nothing. I'm not. I wouldn't just point you in the direction of something because it's cheap. You know, let's like. I, I've had a lot of yeah. high points show up on the range, and yeah. they do fine. If you had yeah. to have one, I said, yeah, that one doesn't work, or that yeah. one doesn't do the or, job. Or even this tray. Like I've seen some other guns that are more expensive that have no kind of accuracy. Nope. At all. <laughs> And like I said, yeah, I don't know what that many, guy's lifestyle is. I yeah. don't know what money he has. Right. He's out there learning how, many, how, many, how to protect his family. That's all I care about. Yeah. Go ahead. How Dave. many guys have? How many guys have, you know have chopped up their gun to make it you know all Gucci fight or whatever? Yep. And their reliability turns to absolute crap yep. after that. You know, mm -hmm. what yep. good is that going to do you if it doesn't work anymore? I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I, I do not change my guns at all. Well, I mean, I don't modify the triggers. I don't do anything substantial to the gun. Mm -hmm. I might put on new sights, obviously. Uh, I don't run red dot. Sorry, red dot guys. Uh, <laughs> I'll red dot in two seconds. And by the Fuck way, the new, the new Yeet Cannon has a red dot. Yeah, uh, I know. Sorry, Dave. That. That's for the old dudes. That's for the and old I, guys who I can't see anymore. I might thread a barrel in, but I usually try to stick with the factory barrels, threaded barrels from whatever company I'm dealing with on, yeah. on, the, on, the, uh, on that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we need to – we got an opportunity where we can turn the tide of gun owners and – in our favor mm -hmm. and being a bunch of jerks those help. people go to compound bows and machetes yeah. you know we'll be trying to figure yeah, out what's yeah. going on or being jerks about it solves absolutely nothing absolutely sometimes you scare people away from the whole thing I, I, so what i've found overall in general this is not 100 percent, okay it's human beings inside the gun community but in general the gun community um are pretty cool accepting people that want to see everyone uh practice their second amendment Okay, so, and I always tell people that guns are a gateway drug to freedom. So, yes. you know, let's uh, act like good uh, drug dealers here yep. and ease people into being addicted. <laughs> yeah. Remember, they're scared when they come there. Yeah, absolutely. They're fucking oh, totally. scared. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. That woman, she came there, I was showing her guns, and she's like, oh my God, I'm so scared right now. Yeah. I go, hey, look, it's all right. Yeah. I'm here to make sure you're safe, and I'm going to help you out. I talk very calm and very calm when I talk. Yeah. And I go, I'm here to make sure you're safe and you do you are and everything works out right. Mm -hmm. Would I be a good instructor if you got shot? Nope, of course not. Or you shot me. No. I said, you know, so we went through everything. At the end of the hour lesson, she was like, I want to do some more shooting. I want to shoot. I like this gun. I'm going to shoot these different guns. Mm -hmm. I want to try the shotgun now. She, was, she, she said, no way, I'll never touch that shotgun. Mm -hmm. At the end of the lesson, she's shooting a pump shotgun. Boom, boom, boom. She yeah, loved nice. it. Yeah. You know, but again, it's my demeanor. Yeah, I'm not condescending either. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us, no offense to the other guys out there, we're condescending jerks sometimes, and we need to not be that way. Yeah. Someone taught me. My grandfather and my mm -hmm. dad taught me how to shoot. Mm -hmm. They took me out and showed me how to shoot. I was not an expert shot, and I put years of practice into learning about guns and shooting. Mm -hmm. They're the same way, except they're 40, and we're, and I was, you know, six. Yeah. yeah. So, the, you know, it's just a new experience for them, and we need to, cult we need to cultivate them and bring them into the uh, fold. Yeah. For anyone who's wondering why, like, I think, <laughs> I think this conversation happens uh, quite a lot with, uh, with, like, when we're talking about this subject, we try to tell people to be nice to the new people coming in, especially in gun stores. And I remember when Lola and I started doing this, um, obviously, before the two of us started doing things together, I've interacted with guns, um, not necessarily in the way that you want anyone to, right? So when we actually started doing this, we went to a local gun store, and um, it had those like elitist guys behind the counter, and the way that they acted, you know, it really, really bothered Lola and myself. If we weren't the kind of people that were strong-willed and, and knew what we wanted, because we literally just walked out of there. 
And then we came back and we we're like, what's what's going on? Like, what's up with these people? And I think there's there's people in gun stores that no matter who it is, they see folks coming in that are new and they just go into some kind of super elite tactical ninja mode. And it really does scare people off. And um, yeah, I think folks out there want to think about that. That happened to me on a gun range in Georgia. We were renting the MP5. And I respected their rules. The guy was a jerk. Mm-hmm. And the MP5 was malfunctioning. I said, you need to replace this component, do this, this, and this. He goes, how'd you know that? I go, I got five MP5s at the house. Are you serious? Yep. Showed him videos of me shooting them and everything. He left me alone after that. Mm-hmm. But he should have never been like that in the first place. Yeah, don't make, us, don't make assumptions about people. Let me out, man. Let's do, because I'm not going to spend more money if you. I think you're a prick. Sorry, yeah. I'm going to take my money elsewhere. Yeah. You got $2. Hank yeah. that rolled across the feed. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? Um, what was that comment? I know someone's asking us about the YC9. Ten we... millimeters. They're going to be a ten millimeter yeah. Uh, uh, high point. Yeah, Flying Rich wants to know. We'll, we'll get, we're going to get. We're going to get back to that. Just hold on a second. I want to. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That answer. Lotto ten millimeter. <laughs> Yeah, I want to. I I, uh, I want to make sure that I cover this. I just want to say to people, take this. Um, this situation that's going on is an opportunity to help other people out. If you have a lot of ammo and you can help out someone that doesn't have ammo, you know what I'm saying? You know, if they need a lot of ammo, hey, get get some money. <laughs> that's exchange. on them. Yeah, My or get some money exchange there, right? Huh? My local people, I've been posting where ammo's at. I know where the ammo's at. Yeah. Lake County Arms has it. Mm-hmm. A.W. Peterson's has it. I've been posting about different ammo when it comes in to let you guys know. Mm-hmm. And when I get ammo back in, I promise you that I'll be posting it online and uh, selling it. I have not marked up any of my prices at all in any form nice. or fashion. Mm-hmm. I have the same prices I had two years ago today. Mm-hmm. I'm not here to make money. I'm here to help you defend your family and protect yourself. I don't care about the money. Mm-hmm. So. I, I will help you guys out find ammo. Ammo is scarce. And don't be a greedy jerk either and go out oh, and buy 2,000 rounds. Please buy what you need. If you can't carry it, you don't need it. <laughs> yeah. I, also, I mean, that's key right there. Yeah. I think yeah. also for like the gun, for the for the guys who are gun guys, you've probably been doing a lot of this stuff for a while here. So you don't necessarily um, need to do that. But listen, in, in situations like this, right? Everyone, this is like a worldwide thing, and I think that's why lots of folks um, got into got into a panic mode here. So before we move away from this, I want to touch on some other things that I think will be a good message to get out to the folks who are new to guns. Um, you might want to do some research on this, and I'm saying this in, in, in a good way. I'm not being sarcastic here. Do some research on the Second Amendment, you know? And then think about when, when you go to vote and the politicians you support, I'm not telling you, you know, what uh, party to be in or anything like that, but just think about this. Research the Second Amendment, question yourself on why that's important, right? Try to have those tough conversations with yourself and then ask yourself why there would be people, especially when we're in a mode like this in the world, there's folks who are trying to take those those Second Amendment um, rights away from you, okay? And and so part of the responsibility of being a gun guy is uh, fighting to preserve that Second Amendment. You know, very important I think for people who are new to this to learn that. When I first started doing that, my my understanding of it was, oh, make sure you support the NRA. Um, mm-hmm. I think we're in kind of like a different mode now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, but you but there are organizations out there that you can support, but you need to like enlighten yourself, research, look into this, you know, read up about the Second Amendment uh, it, while you're doing this stuff. Look at some people talking about this. Look at history and come to an understanding. You can even look at recent history in America and come to an understanding of why this is so important. And, and this goes outside of a lot of other political things that we can stand here and argue about all day long but why why is the second amendment so so important um i don't know if there's any other things you guys think that folks should do or learn or, or get into now that they're into guns no i mean the second amendment is definitely it i mean i know i i always knew it was there but once i got my first firearm it was kind of like this is a huge deal mm-hmm. and that that's what kind of got me i won't say pain is the politics because you know it's still it's politics still sucks mm-hmm. but but yes, that's why I pay more attention now is absolutely because 
that, that is a key right, and a lot of people just don't get it. So yeah, the education is everything. I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Look at the history and educate yourself. That's oh, that, that's so much. That's so heavy. It's not even funny. Yeah. Go ahead, Trey. It's not for hunting. Oh my God! Right. Mm-hmm. They, <laughs> they, believe hunting. they believe us now. They believe us now. Yeah. Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Just I, ask. I, I, so so, how do people come to this point? Right. I think a lot of folks out there are looking at this um, and thinking. Okay, shit just got real. Okay, I might have, I might be the front lines to defend myself and my family. How am I going to do that? I might need <laughs> some tools to assist me with that. Um, and this is why you have so many extra people in Not America. dildos or toilet paper. They don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Did, wait, there was a run on dildos? I didn't know about that. <laughs> yeah, remember when that when they were they were open carrying in Texas, I think? Oh, so, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was about to say, was there a run on that? I forgot that? about that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> only, only on Florida. Only on Florida. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I think that I think that people realize the seriousness of this. Um, there are resources out there, out here. There's lots of good people. As Trey said, there are companies like High Point and other companies that one of their first priorities is to educate people on what to do with their firearms and how to be safe. So you you do want to use those resources, and there's uh, so many other resources out there as well that you can go to. Um, you know, take your time. Be safe. If you're not sure of something, uh, keep learning, keep training, keep seeking knowledge until you feel comfortable and secure with that. Um, If you're communicating with friends and family that are gun guys, you don't have to be on their level when you start this thing. No, not at all. No. Yeah. You know, come up on your own levels and your own comfort. And and definitely, um, you know, before you email me, if you have a question, you can email or call me or Hank. How can people how can people email you, Trey? You would gun knowledge. Yeah. How can the folks email you out there? Air, uh, shooting at Aries Training Facility dot com or Aries Firearms Training dot com at Yahoo dot com three five two three two one eight one zero two. Call me, email me. I don't care. Text me. If you don't even know anything about guns and you just have a question, I will answer your question. Yeah. Or I'll just tell you I don't know. Sorry, I don't know the answer. Yeah, I mean, I won't lie to you about a question. That's always the so, best answer if you don't know, to tell yeah. people you don't know. And there's a lot I don't know, yeah. except if I'm Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so same thing with me. You guys can look me up on social media. I have lots of info out there and how you can get in touch with me. Lots of people get in touch with me all the time. Um, I don't know if, Dave, if you want to put up any info, but you guys can just go to High Point, H-I-P-O-I-N-T. Well, as I say, our, you know, Facebook and Instagram, we, mm-hmm. you know, I yep. get questions all the time on how to do this, how to do that. So absolutely hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, mm-hmm. all the above. I mean, hell, I even went so far as I built a couple uh, simple static targets people can use on the website, free to download stuff mm-hmm. just oh, so they can, cool. they're going to the, well, if they're going to the range and you're, you're on a static range, you can't do much. At least this gives them something to do. I mean, but, but yeah, social media, hit us up and we'll help you out for sure. Yeah, absolutely. One last thing, we are going to move on and we're going to talk about the high points. I know there's lots of people out there saying that they want updates. (laughs) I see you guys. I see you. Uh, Smash the thumbs ups. We are going to get to it. Smash the thumbs ups right now. I appreciate that. One last thing on this subject for the new folks out there. Um, Think about safety and securing your firearms. I'm not trying to tell you how to do that, but think about that because uh, there's a scale here. All depends on like what age kids you have, whether you live alone, you don't live alone. Uh, you know, if you're in a house, apartment building, if there's lots of houses around you or not so, so many houses, and what your comfort level is. But do spend some time thinking exactly about how you're going to secure that um, that firearm. Okay, that's uh... that or disable it. It's not hard to disable a firearm. Mm-hmm. Make it pieces. If you're not sure if your kids are going to have access to it, put yeah. it in multiple pieces and put multiple pieces in a box. Yeah. I could say it, your four-year-old kid is not putting your gun together and figuring it out before <laughs> you catch him doing that. Mm-hmm. promise you that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, gun safes are cheap. You can buy a little handheld gun safe at Tractor Supply, any of those places, for 50 to 200 bucks, depending on what kind it is. Yeah. Buy a safe. Buy something to put your gun in place. Trigger locks will get you killed, and those cable locks will get you killed. So please don't buy those. They're garbage. Right. Okay. So there you go.
Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.